Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got an interesting report you're going to want to hear, specifically in regards to a tribulation coincidence. Now, this is one that I'm going to throw out and say, hey, you decide, but here's all the evidence and facts. Here's what I'm talking about. In the book of Revelation, it talks about certain things pertaining to the end times. One of those things is the image of a beast or an idol that comes up and surfaces in the latter days. Take a look at this. This is on Revelations chapter chapter 13 verses 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast and the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed now this is many scholars believe that this is some kind of idol that's given power like an ai technological God with a G that the false prophet empowers. And basically, if you don't worship this beast in the image of the beast, you can risk being killed. This is spoken of in the book of Revelation tour, towards the latter days. Now, also spoken of in the book of Revelation is information on a possible asteroid or asteroid that they call Wormwood. Take a look at this on Revelations 8, 11. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters that be became bitter. Now, many biblical scholars believe that Wormwood is an asteroid. Now, why do I bring both of these up? Well, because there is a tribulation coincidence that I think is just interesting. Take a look at this article on Skywatch TV. Middle of the Great Tribulation Coincidence? AI set to give life to the image of the beast at the exact same time Dr. Thomas Horn says Wormwood will hit the earth. Now, those are not my words, let me clarify. I'm not saying an asteroid is going to hit the earth in 2029. I have no idea, I'm not a scientist, and I don't date set. However, that's why I, I said in the beginning of this video, this is for you to decide and look at the evidence. Let's start first with the AI uh, and what they're talking about on the skywatch.tv uh, there. But basically, they're saying in 2029, Ray Kurzweil is planning on hitting, well, his surprise of what's called turning a Turing test. Take a look at this article on fanaticalfuturist.com. Ray Kurzweil, AI aces Turing test in 2029 and the singularity arrives in 2045. Now, what does it mean for AI to ace a Turing test? Well, according to Wikipedia, here's what a Turing test is. A Turing test is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from that of a human. It means that AI will act like a human. We won't even be able to tell the difference. And that happens in 2029. Why is that important? Because as I shared at the beginning of this video, uh, when I talked about the image of the beast, something like what Ray Kurzweil has described that is coming in 2029 could fit that scripture to the T. So it's intriguing nonetheless. And I think, uh, obviously, this is something we're heading into. We are 100% going to see robotic and, and, and AI do that kind of stuff in the near future. So it's downright scary, especially if you know biblical prophecy. But that's not the only thing that is a little bit, or I should say terrifying to say the least, because biblical scholar Tom Horn is also making a declaration about a coming asteroid in 2029. Take a look at this article on brobible.com. Apocalyptic asteroid will hit in the next decade and space agencies are covering it up, says biblical scholar. The article states, biblical scholar Tom Horn says Apophis could strike Earth much sooner at some point within the next 10 years based on a prophecy from the Bible. Speaking to the Daily Express, Horn said, the asteroid Apophis has a far greater chance of impacting Earth in 2029 than they are letting on. Horn claims he will prove this in his doomsday theory in an upcoming documentary titled The Warm Wood Prophecy. I intend to disclose facts that are stranger and scarier than most people can comprehend, and it is going to shake the public to the bone, says Horn. This involves a cover-up of highest order by national space, space agencies, including NASA. Chief technology experts and working scientists agree with me, but what is more concerning is this was prophesied in the Bible for the end times.
Is an asteroid going to strike in 2029? Well, I don't know. I'm not a rocket scientist and I'm not going to make that prediction. And those words have not come out of my mouth, just to clarify. If I err, I always err on the side of no, I don't believe an asteroid will hit the Earth unless the book of Revelations is fully playing out and only God knows when that will truly happen. That said, ultimately the decision is yours and that's left for you to decide. But one last thing I wanna pull up is what does NASA say about this asteroid? Take a look at this article on nasa.cub titled Friday the 13th, 2029, asteroid 2004 M4N will come scarcely close to Earth on April 13th, 2029, but it will not hit. According to NASA, we won't have an asteroid strike in 2029. It'll just come scarily close. <laughs> However, I have to question, if there was going to be an actual strike of some sort, do you actually, I don't know that I actually believe that NASA would tell us, to be honest. It's not like they've warned us of any other impending doom. Anyhow, I guess ultimately the decision is yours. And like I said before, these are not my predictions. These are predictions on the internet that I wanted to bring to your attention and just let you decide. Anyhow, love you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Please don't forget to go to trumpcoin2020.com. Right now you can get this amazing 0.999 silver commander in chief coin at $10 off using the code LISA10. That's even higher than my other month's promo. Uh, this is a great Christmas gift to give everybody over the holiday. I actually bought a few for my family members this Christmas. Hopefully they're not listening in, uh, but a great memorabilia and great time to buy being that it's $10 off. So use that code LISA10. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.